This is a naked public service announcement. Well, from the waist down, anyway. Despite this confronting suggestion, it could stop you getting face to face with a cash shortfall which you cannot jump over should your car get unfortunately written off in a crash. If you've got comprehensive car insurance, you need to address this problem now. I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au and I get new cars cheap. For buyers here in Australia. Website for that, obviously. Or you can just click the card that's not quite as dependably as death and taxes, perhaps, but most probably up there now, dude. One of the unintended sort of unforeseeable consequences of the bastard new car shortage, which I've reported on several times now, and which will only come as something of a surprise to you if you are dead from the neck up, kind of like a politician or something, is that there has been a significant spike in used car values. And this is because some people simply cannot wait for a new car. For example, a tweeting dickhead might have liberace them in traffic the other day, monumentally, or perhaps their ageing shitbox could no longer push back its inevitable date with Jack Kevorkian. If you're in this position, like without wheels, you cannot wait 6 to 12 months for a brand new car, which is common right about now, and you often go on the hunt instead for a late model used car, right? Because they might be more available, because you need those wheels now. You need to get from A to friggin' B like the rest of us, right? The spike in demand for used cars flowing from the shortage of new cars has pumped up the price in the used car domain significantly. And here we are, all caught up with used car prices at historic stratospheric highs. This is kind of a problem if you have an agreed value insurance policy, right? Which is where the insurer pays you the sum that you jointly agree on in the contract in the event that your car gets written off. And usually I'm a fan of agreed value because the alternative is market value. Market value is kind of non-specific, right? So historically, your car gets written off and the insurer inevitably lowballs you on the price, right? You might think that your car was worth I don't know, 25 grand or something, the insurer tells you they think it's worth 20 grand. And all of a sudden, you're in a dispute and they're holding the gun and the cash, which is not ideal. And then all you've got is a mangled car, right? And it's going nowhere and you're being sort of coerced into signing the papers, right? So generally, agreed value is the smarter option. Certainly, that's how it's been for the past few decades. But Insurance tends to be this insidiously sort of set and forget proposition, doesn't it? Like they send you a renewal annually. The agreed value takes a little bit of a dive incrementally each year because the car gets older and you just pay it typically without all that much due consideration. But when there's one of these spooky, unforeseeable events, you know, perhaps we have a global pandemic and lockdowns and nutbag protests and big clashes with the cops and a global computer chip shortage and knee in the nuts for car makers, incidentally, etc. And this can bite one on the ass in unforeseeable ways, such as with insurance. And as you are doubtless aware, being bitten on the ass is only pleasant in a very limited number of circumstances, isn't it? It's not pleasant when the agreed value of your write-off is, say, 20 grand, but the actual replacement cost of an equivalent used car has spiked to, say, 25. If this happens to you, in addition to the recent stress of the pandemic, of job uncertainty, ongoing high-level political incompetence, keep up the good work, chaps, plus the stress of having your friggin' car totaled last Thursday or something, 
you get a payout from your insurer potentially that's something like five grand short of leveling you back up into an equivalent car, which is kind of why you took out insurance in the first place, right? Insurers are typically not on the front foot addressing this, okay? They're hardly incentivized commercially to ring up and say, how about we just pay you some more money in the event of a claim because generosity is our middle name, right? Unlikely. So they're typically not all that proactive on this particular movement in the used car market. Therefore, you should research the street value of your car now and just use car sales or Red Book or Gumtree, whatever, some online resource, and just get a feel for what it would actually cost you tomorrow to replace your four-wheeled pride and joy should tweeting tool commence docking procedures indelicately at a set of traffic lights near you about 5 p.m. this evening. And then just call your insurer, okay? And Sound them out about upgrading the agreed value of your contract in line with the actual market values that pertain in the market today. Do not put this off, okay, because negligent dickheads are everywhere in traffic, right? Nobody will admit that they're a below average driver in stark contrast to the evidence that's everywhere. And I wouldn't want to be average in any case because average is just a euphemism for pathetic when it comes to driving capability out there. Ambient driver in society in Australia is pretty terrible. <coughs> Think you'd agree. One could easily get target lock on you this afternoon. So hey dude, don't wait. Now, just before I let you go, as you might know, Olight, the torch manufacturer, is a great sponsor of mine, and they help me produce more content like the segment you've just watched. And normally, therefore, at this point, I would say something like, dude, use the link in the description and order a friggin' pallet load of Olights right now at 10% off using the code AEJC10. But counterintuitively, not today. In this instance, I'm saying wait, because the Black Friday sales coming up later this week, you'll get significant discounts from this Thursday, the 25th at 8pm, and buy that pallet load of torches then, dude, like, do yourself a favour, you know you want this. I'll have more details on that later this week, but just to prick tease momentarily, headlining this sale is the new Warrior 3, the perfect in-bag tactical torch sort of. EDC proposition just right to complement that Lady Dior handbag you've always wanted. Also, and I just tested this, an excellent fit in the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier. But dude, if you're leaning that way, get the cherry lining, okay, not the pink. Like, we wouldn't want people to get the wrong impression now, would we? All of a sudden, I don't know why I'm Feeling like watching a few episodes of Kenny Everett, just for old time's sake. There's also the Warrior X3, which is awesome in the car, right? A bit big for the pocket, but apart from being a lightsaber, it's just been upgraded with three zirconium beads here up the pointy end around the bezel, which are glass breakers. So ideal for rescue, if it ever comes to that, which I hope it doesn't in your case, but hey, if it does... Nice to have on hand. And finally, the Javelot Pro 2, and that's a friggin' searchlight, basically. It's awesome for search, great for off-roading and boating, plus you could probably beat a flesh-eating zombie to death with it one-handed in the manner of, I don't know, Mila Jovovich or something, like if you run out of ammo. And obviously that's the messier option, but nice to have just in case. So I'd be prepping that Lady Dior handbag now or the Speedy Bandolier if you're leaning that way because you will be go for Warrior 3 insertion in just two more sleeps. Yes. And Olight is going to sweeten the deal on this one by refunding 100% of the total purchase amount to two or three randomly selected lucky, lucky, auto expert bastards who use the link in the description in coming days. So that's just like Russian roulette, isn't it? Only 
obviously, friendlier and significantly easier to clean up afterwards, potentially. So that's nice. Also a great inducement to subscribe, don't you think, and hit the bell so you don't miss out because, you know, life happens in between. On that subject, do not forget to ring your insurer between the sale on Thursday evening and now, dude. In fact, how about you just grab your phone and call them henceforth? 